exciting day ahead. It is 630 right now. I'm Octavia Mitchell. So glad to have you with us. I'm Riley Benson. It is Eclipse Day and mm -hmm. everyone in the continental United States will have the potential to see the moon at least partially blocking the sun today. With more than 31 million getting a chance at the darkness of totality. And we are ready here at News 2. The eclipse begins its U.S. journey in Texas with the path of totality, then moving from the Pacific to the Atlantic across 15 states. We're going to head over to News 2's Grace Isle is joining us live this morning from Fort Moultrie. And Grace, when can we expect to see the eclipse here in the Low Country? Good morning. Riley Octavia, good morning. I mean, yeah, I'm here at Fort Moultrie, one of the many spots that you can view the eclipse here in the Low Country. Now, the viewing party starts around two o'clock, but for us here in the Low Country, the peak of that eclipse will be at three. Here's the deal, though. I know we're looking forward to this. We've been excited about this. This is not the same eclipse that we saw in 2017, and here's why. We're not in that path of totality. Here in the low country, it'll be a partial solar eclipse. So just a bite out of the sun, the moon will take and certainly going to be something spectacular to see. So if you are planning on seeing that today, starting around two o'clock, that'll be the time when things begin to get a bit darker outside. You're going to notice a difference by three here at Fort Moultrie. A lot of people are going to be looking up, viewing the partial solar eclipse. That'll be the peak and the moon moves between the sun and the earth around four o'clock. But here's the deal. If you are going to be watching the solar eclipse today, something very important you need to know. You need to have these. These are ISO certified solar eclipse glasses. If you have sunglasses, you think they're dark enough, they're not. These are special. This is what you need to have. It'll protect your eyes from the sun. If you want to look up and view the bite out of the sun, the moon will take. I know we're excited about this. And this one's a very special eclipse because the next time this will happen, it's about 10 to 20 years from now. So it's going to be a very long time before you see this again. So I urge you come out to Fort Moultrie. Enjoy this partial solar eclipse here in the low country. And Josh, we have great weather for it as well. We really do, Grace. We have no complaints in the weather department at all today uh, as the moon passes between the sun and the earth and casts its shadow on the United States here locally. Our greatest amount of shadow or blockage of the sun will occur right around three o'clock this afternoon. And that's going to be about 70 to 80% of the sun will be covered by the moon. And that is what we're expecting here at about 75%. If you plug in Charleston's coordinates, that's what we would get. So it's going to be a pretty good show this afternoon. Nothing like 2017, but still it's going to be noticeable. You will see some scattered clouds overhead as we head out the door this morning, but I think those are going to clear into the afternoon. Mid 40s to low 50s is where we're starting out the day. Headed for highs in the mid 70s to near 80 away from the coast under a mostly sunny sky out toward the beaches. If you're planning on heading out there to watch the eclipse this afternoon, uh, you're going to have a lot of beach because low tides at about 230 or so. Uh, so you're actually not bad. It's going to be in the 60s to near 70 as well with plenty of sunshine expected. Leading up, we're at 60 at 9 o'clock to 73 at noon. There's 3 p.m. 77 with a south to southeast wind at about 10. Again, you're going to notice the sky or at least the amount of light begin to fade at about 2 o'clock is when that'll start. Maximizes around 3 and then by 4 we start to see everything return back to normal during the 4 o'clock hour. 6 o'clock we're around 73, low 60s at 9. Tomorrow and Wednesday, near 80 as we increase cloud cover and then showers and thunderstorms becoming likely by Thursday. We'll talk a little more about that, Megan, coming up in 10 minutes. Good morning. Good